Libri, just another episode, just one more. And suddenly, it's 2 a.m. Welcome to Revenge Bedtime Procrastination. When your inner rebel says, you had no control today? Fine, but I get this night. This is not laziness, it's a tiny act of rebellion. Research shows that when you feel trapped by work or routine, staying up late becomes a way to reclaim some personal time, even if it means zombies tomorrow. The original bedtime procrastination was coined in 2014. Basically staying up past your bedtime without any real reason, except you don't just want to quit the farm. Science says low self-control and impulsivity play a part. People who struggle manage impulses are more likely to stay up late. Chronotype matters too, so the night owl brain are extra vulnerable. What about consequences? Shorter sleep, grogginess, brain fog, mood swings, and even long-term health problems. But here's the good part. Solutions are legit. A systematic power down hour helps. 20 minutes tasks, 20 minutes hygiene, 20 minutes relaxation, and no screams. Your brain gets the chance to surrender. Or try setting a bedtime alarm. Force yourself to switch off before Netflix wins. Shift leisure early in the day. Schedule your joy before bedtime. And challenge the I am procrastinator. So what's your late night guilty pleasure? Stay witty, stay well rested.